Hi, I'm Brett Larkin. This is going to be a shorter, delicious sequence to open up the hips. Come to a comfortable seat and close your eyes. In your seat right now, begin noticing, bringing your awareness and your attention to the area of your hips and how the hips and your sits bones touch the ground. Shift your spine back in space and begin to locate that long line of energy that runs from between the space between the sits bones all the way up to the crown of the head. As you sip the breath in, notice where it's going in the body. And just taking a moment to thank yourself for finding this time during our busy days, commuting, working at a desk. Right now you're here on your mat, nowhere else, with the intention of soothing your hips and bathing them with your generous attention. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Dip the chin. Open the eyes slowly to take in your fingertips. Let's transition to table pose. To begin, just have a nice wider table pose than you normally would, so maybe walk the hands out a little extra. And without too much adherence to form, just begin to do a few cat-cows on your own. So exhaling, rounding the spine, navel lifts up and in. Inhaling, chest rises, heart lifts, collarbones splay open. Out breath carries you back. Lower back rounds, navel lifts towards the ceiling. Inhaling. Lift the heart through, maybe a micro bend in the elbows so you can lift the collarbones. Glide the shoulder blades down the back, navel lifts up. Exhaling. Just a few on your own. Not getting too caught up in form. Just undulating through the spine. Together we'll meet in table. So feel your spine parallel to the ceiling. Navel hugs up and in. Shoulder blades glide down the back. Stay here. Deep breath, inflating the torso with your intention. Inflating the torso with your breath. Expanding left shoulder, right shoulder, left hip, right hip apart from one another. Diagonally side to side and up and down. Inhale, expand the space of the torso apart with your breathing. Make it wider, side to side, right to left, and the diagonals. Exhale, draw navel up and in. And then just wag the hips from side to side. So no one's looking. Just take the hips to the right and the left. Just make it feel good. Just wake up. See if you can feel a small something on the left and right hip. Strong palms, navel engaged. Core active. Just feeling through the hips as you take them left to right. Nice. And then curl the toes under. Lift the hips up and back to the space where the side wall meets the ceiling. Come into downward facing dog. This may be most likely your first down dog of the day, so take your time. Bend the right knee and then the left. Press vigorously through the index finger and thumb. Soften your gaze, soften the space between your eyebrows, inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, stack the hips and our attempt to stack the hips. We usually bend the knee here, but we're not gonna do that today. Instead, just reach the right leg farther back in space, deep inhale. One more. And then exhale, step through. Take it slightly out, so step the foot to the outside of the right palm so the hands are on the inside of the right foot. And then from here, all we're going to do is press vigorously through the front foot, straighten the knee of the back leg, so really activate through the back heel, 
and begin to send your energy and your intention into the right hip. We're looking for space in the right hip here, that's it. We're just looking for space, looking for opening. And the way you're going to find it is by pressing down through the front right foot very deliberately. Feel all the toes on the floor. And then really extending through the left back heel, knee super straight. You can even move in the weight a little bit to the right. Just looking for an opening sensation on the right hip, that's all. Just send your breath there. How much can you push down through the front foot? How much can you extend through the back heel? Activate this opening in the right hip. Last breath. So it's just energetic. Nice. Exhale, step the leg back. Rock forward to plank pose. Breathe in. Exhale, find up dog. Just lower the hips, thigh bones on the ground, elbows micro bent, and then just rock from side to side. So not a formal up dog, nice. And then your choice, come through knees or roll over the toes, down dog. Inhale the left leg up and back. Deep inhale, just really lift the left leg up towards the sky and forward. It's like you want to catapult forward across your mat. Nice inhaling. Exhaling completely. Inhaling, attempting to stack the hips, but we're not bending the knee. Just move that femur bone, the thigh bone, a little bit more back in the socket. And then exhale, step the foot to the outside of the left hand. Hands are inside of the left foot. And then begin to press down through the left foot vigorously. And press away through your right heel vigorously and your hips are up so don't let your hips sink down or fall towards the floor you're really active the hips are up and the back left thigh bone is lifted good so just think about the left hip as if it could open up and back in space inhale exhale completely Inhale deeply, left foot presses into the ground, right heel long, send your energy, your breath back into the left, into the area of that left hip. We're just trying to locate space, keeping the hips high. So you're inhaling, sending energy into the left hip, maybe lean a little bit to the left to find it. It's really energetic, subtle. Left hip back and down. Nice. Exhale, step it back, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale again, just let the thigh bones come to the mat. Nice up dog variation, keep the elbows bent. Just rock from side to side. Move the shoulders forward and back. And then lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back, yawn it open. Exhale, pigeon. So coming into your variation, maybe not the farthest you've ever gone, just something that's going to challenge you. Right foot front, right front foot is flexed. Inhale, open the collarbones. Exhale, place the elbows on the floor, elbows on the mat. And then the same thing, you're going to press through the palms. Press through the palms to shift the energy back into the right hip. So we're just staying upright for a moment. Don't fold forward all the way. We're pressing through the forearms, the palms, to shoot the energy into the back of the right hip. Sending the energy back. So we're almost looking for space and sensation more than we're looking for a stretch although a stretch may be most likely definitely happening. It's not something you're trying to achieve. It's just something you're allowing to happen. You shift the energy into the back body, the back of the right hip, pressing down through the palms and the forearms, just looking for space and sensation in the back right hip. 
Nice. And then I want you to walk the hands over to the right. Same thing here. Stay up on the forearms. Just for a moment. See how that changes the energy of the stretch, perhaps. Deep breath into the right hip. And then walk over to the left. Angle your navel so it's right above the sole of the foot. So navel above sole of foot. And then again, stay up on the forearms. Press vigorously through the palms. Draw the shoulder blades down and back. Again, angling navel over sole of foot. Play that edge. Inhale. Exhale. Send your right hip back in space and down. Inhale. Palms press firmly into the mat. And then angle, press the right hip back and down. Nice. Return to center. Using the palms helps us find opening. So this time, as you exhale and fold over into pigeon, full pigeon, find stretch, release into this opening, into this space you've created. So first we created space in the hip. And now you're feeling into the space, really fully opening up into the stretch. If this is at all painful on the knee, take pigeon on your back. Do thread the needle. Always the better option. Exhale completely. Inhaling. Inhaling into the area of the right hip. Inflate it with your breath. One, two, three. Inflating it a little more than you think you can. Exhale completely. One more inhaling. One, two, three into the area of the right hip. Take your breath there, inhale beyond your capacity, let it go. In this sense, we're literally unwinding tension from the inside out. Place the hands underneath the breastbone, curl the back toes under, shift your weight up and back, downward facing dog. Just readjust. We'll cycle through a vinyasa here, inhale, hold, exhale, chaturanga, hold, inhale, up dog, if you're ready for it, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, yawn the left leg up and back, exhale, step it through, pigeon, shin behind the wrists, flex that front foot. Shin does not have to be parallel to the front of the mat. That's going to make it more intense, so go where you need to be. Inhale, collarbones splay open. Inhale, inflate the lungs. Exhale, elbows come down to the mat. Palms press into the mat. Begin pressing the palms and forearms into the mat to help you shift your weight and your energy and your intention into the left hip, moving it down and back. Close your eyes and see if you can just observe this moment. Palms press into the mat, forearms press into the mat, so you can send energy back and down into your left hip. One more deep breath. Nice, and then walk the forearms over to the left. Same thing. So we're still pressing through the forearms, pressing into the palms in order to create more space in the left hip as we send our attention down and back. Imagine a pinpoint of light in the center of your hip where the sensation's the strongest. And by pressing the forearms in the mat, the palms in the mat, Gently, you're somehow opening. So instead of just falling and collapsing forward into a stretch, you're pressing into the forearms, pressing into the palms, shifting your weight and your energy into the back body, into the back of the left hip. Nice. Walk the forearms over to the right now. Angle the torso over the foot. So it's as if the navel could come into the sole of the foot. Same thing. 
Forearms and palms are active. Shoulders are gliding down the back. And you're using the palms and the forearms on the mat as leverage to push that left hip energetically down and back. Inhaling deeply, looking for more space. Exhaling completely, just observing this moment for what it is. This is really just the practice of observing our own thoughts, being with ourselves fully in this moment. So allow that to happen here. Nice, and then inhale, find center. With this space you've made by shifting the hip back, opening back, Now stretch into your traditional pigeon. Let yourself fall forward, releasing into that space. And then practice inhaling the inner body to meet the outer body in the space of the left hip. Three, two, one. Inflating the left hip with your breath. Exhaling completely. Inhaling for one, two, three. Three, inflating inner body to outer body in the space of the left hip. Exhaling completely, dissolving tension. Inhaling one, two, three. Fill up into the perimeter of the hip. Breathe in beyond your capacity. Exhale completely. Nice, curl the back toes under, place the palms underneath the chest, shift the weight up and back, downward facing dog. Nice. Jump step or walk the feet towards the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift again, shoulders roll down the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, thigh bones move back, shoulders roll down and back, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up to touch above the head. It's as if you're moving through water, exhale, press the air away, extend through all the fingertips. Really feel the sensation of your limbs moving through space so slowly. Inhale, palms lift, heart lifts, tailbone long. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, shoulders glide down and back, thigh bones back. Exhale, step the right foot back, right knee to the mat, low lunge, arms up. Exhale, frame the front foot, plank, chaturanga, or your variation. Exhale, we meet downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot between the palms. Take the left knee to the mat, low lunge. Circle the arms down, around and up. Breathe in. Exhale, palms frame the foot. Kick off that back foot. Come to standing forward fold, front of the mat. Inhale, drop, fold. Then inhale, shoulder blades roll down the back. Take a big half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. They touch above the head. Exhale, press the air away. Inhale, palms lift, heart lifts. Reach up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, thigh bones back, navel up and in. Exhale, left leg. Comes back, left knee to the mat, low lunge, circle up, palms lift. Exhale, place the palms, step back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, or skip it. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Inhale the left leg up and back. Exhale, step it between the palms, right knee to the mat, low lunge, circle up. Moving meditation. Exhale. Palms frame the foot. Kick off the back leg. Come to standing forward fold. Uttanasana, top of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Roll the shoulders down and back. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. They touch above the head. Exhale, take this moment just for you as you press the arrow away. Tailbone gets longer. Hands come to prayer. Inhale, palms lift, heart lifts. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank pose, right away. Chaturanga or up dog. Inhale. Exhale, carries you back, downward facing dog. Yawn the right leg up and back. Exhale, step it through to the outside of the right palm. So once again, the hands are, the, are in the inside of the foot where where we started. Take the right shoulder inside, underneath the right knee. Just work towards it if you can. So you're taking the right hand to the outside of the right foot as you thread the shoulder back and underneath. You can hug, hold the back calf, hold the right calf with the right hand and begin working your right shoulder down, back and underneath it. Good, press through both feet equally. Right hand is on the outside of the right foot. And again, the hips are high, so you're not sinking or collapsing. And then optional to take airplane arms, lifting the arms, even though you're bound. Exhale, fold in, round forward. Lift the navel up and into the spine. Exaggerate the rounding in the low back. Inhale, airplane arms. Lift the wrist, lift the collarbones. Exhale, Place the palms back down, round, lift the navel up and in. One more, inhale, airplane arms, lifting the palms, lifting the wrists, lifting the collarbones, lift the heart balance, exhale, place the palms, round the low back, chin into chest, good. And then bring the hand back to the inside of the right foot, drop the back, left knee, take that front right foot 45 degrees out to the right if you wish. Option to stay here in lizard pose or come down to the elbows or come down to a block. Lizard. Let the head drop. Three deep breaths here. Breathe into the area of the low back. And on the exhale, see if your tailbone can lengthen a little bit more. Pelvis sink down a little bit more. Inhaling, exhaling completely. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely. Nice. Inhale, place the palms. Curl the back toes. Take it up and back. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, take the left leg up and back. Exhale, step it to the outside of the left palm. Nice. And then, working the left shoulder behind the left knee. So you can hold on to the left calf with the left hand. Press into it. And then you're gradually taking the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Extend like crazy through the back right leg. Get the shoulder in the knee as much as you can. And then with the hips lifted, not collapsed and sinking down, airplane arms, hips lifted, airplane arms, inflate the heart, inflate the collarbones, even though you're bound, exhale, deliberately round the low back, chin into chest, navel up and in. Inhale, airplane arms. Just feel like you're flying even though you're bound, so straight through that back knee, exhale, deliberately round, chin into chest, round the low back. Inhale, airplane arms. Last one, make it good. Hopefully you're feeling this in the left hip. Exhale, round, chin into chest, drop in, navel moves up and in, exaggerate the curve of the low back. Nice, bring the left hand back to the inside of the left foot. Drop onto the back right knee. Turn the left toes out 45 degrees for lizard pose, your lizard pose. So you can either press the palms into the mat, stay upright, 
or you can choose to take elbows to the mat or a block. Wherever you need to be in your body in this moment, head drops. Soften the space between your eyes, soften your tongue. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Deep inhale into the low back, inflate it up. Exhale, see if you can let the pelvis sink a little bit more. What are you holding on to, tensing internally that you can let go of? It could be anywhere, so scan the whole body. Close your eyes and just imagine your mind as a panoramic camera. It's bringing equal focus, equal attention to all parts of the body. That much awareness, that much intention. One more deep breath. Exhale completely. Slight contraction on the exhale. Place the palms. Nice. Curl the back toe under. Shift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Your down dog, just take a moment to feel your hips. Inhale, place the knees on the mat for table. Just wag the hips from side to side again like we did before. See what shifted. Loosening them up, moving left to right. Nice. And then shift the knees forward. Come to lying down with the soles of the feet on the floor. We're going to do one of my hip stretch variations of all time. Nice. So cross the right ankle over the left knee. We're going into thread the needle. So in thread the needle, I really like to press my right elbow into the right knee. You're holding on behind the left calf with both hands. And then you'll see your legs are kind of in the number four. Keeping this arrangement exactly as it is, we're just going to drop this whole situation to the left. So the right sole of the foot comes to the floor, go slow, as you just drop this whole situation to the left. Nice. And then right sole of the foot presses into the floor. And what you're looking for is to move the right knee energetically away from the body. So locate your right knee, top knee, move it energetically away from the body. And in order to do that, I sometimes like to take the left hand, take hold of the right ankle, gently, and then energetically move the knee away from my face as I relax the sacrum down and begin to find space and opening in the area of the right hip. For some of you, if you can't come all the way to the floor, just hanging out at the halfway point towards the floor can be really powerful, and sometimes I actually, I actually prefer that. So wherever you are, the alignment and the intention is the same. The knee is moving away from the face, right knee away from the face. You're dropping the sacrum, lower back, relaxing the low back. Left hand can take hold of right heel, right ankle. And just begin to sink in, finding delicious space in the area of the right hip. Relax completely. The only thing that has energy right now is the right leg, right knee, as it energetically moves away from the face, or maybe the left hand as it acts as an opposition point holding the ankle. One more deep breath. Exhale, bring it back up to center. Let the knees cross. So just let that right leg slide over the left knee, and then just hold the outside edges of the foot if you can, and just maybe rock gently from side to side. See what's opening in the whole outer seam of the hip. Nice. Come to pause in the center. Beautiful. Place the soles of the feet on the ground. Other side. Left ankle over right knee. Thread the needle. Take the hands to the outside of the right thigh. And then use the left elbow to press the left knee away. 
Breathing here, deep inhale. Complete exhale. And then you're just going to drop this whole situation over to the right. Whole situation drops to the right. Or just lean towards the right. So I like to have the right hand taking hold of the left ankle. And then I press into my hand as I move the knee away from my face. So left knee away from your face towards the bottom of your mat. And then relax the sacrum, relax the low back, relax the hips. Let the hips draw back in space because you're in a little bit of a twist. So just let them draw back towards the mat energetically. And then we're looking for space and opening in the area of the left hip. Holding the left ankle for support. And then energetically moving the knee away from the face. Imagine your mind as the panoramic camera again. Taking inventory, taking stock of your whole body. We're cultivating this level of awareness using the breath, opening the hips, and especially emotional place the hips. We're really healing ourselves at a cellular level, opening cultivating this kind of attention, relaxation in this space. Nice inhale. Bring this situation back to center. Draw it in for a moment. Pause. And then draw left knee over right knee. If you can stack the knees, take hold of the outer edges of the feet or shin or ankle, wherever you can hold on. And just rock back and forth side to side with the knees stacked best you can. Legs bent. Just seeing what opens for you. Come to center, pause. Let the knees fall towards the chest. Bring the soles of the feet towards you. Nice. And then soles of the feet on the ground. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Left hand on the heart, right hand on the belly. We're in goddess pose. Knees wide. Just listen to the rise and fall of your breath. And stay here in goddess, which I think I'm going to do. Or you can let your left leg come straight, right leg come straight. Come into traditional shavasana. Your choice. Just take a few moments here to reset, recenter, drop in. Give yourself permission to listen to your own breathing. And give your mind permission to be nowhere else but here. you're in goddess, bring the left hand to the outside of the left femur or thigh bone and the right hand to the outside of the right femur and quad. Bring the knees together with your hands. So you use your hands to help rise the knees together so you use no effort. Bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug, squeezing the knees down. Feel the tailbone lengthen forward, maybe rock side to side. Think about curling the tailbone upwards as you squeeze the knees in. 
Good. And then let your knees drop to the right side. Use your right forearm as a pillow, left hand on the mat. A deep grounding breath here, fetal position. And then gently pressing the palm, eyes closed if you can. Just come up to a comfortable seat, cross-legged. Let's bring our hands to prayer right away. Once again, locate your sitting bones connected to the mat. And the space between the sits bones, find this long line of energy leading up to the crown of the head. Inhale, inflate the chest with your breathing tall and regal. Exhale, arm bones move back and space and down, shoulder blades down. Inhale, exhale, grow taller. Inhale, exhale, heart emerges. Thank yourself for finding this time, connecting with the hips, connecting with yourself. It's an honor to teach and have you share this practice with me. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste.